Hello and welcome to Always Sometimes Monsters episode 12. I am KPX Valkyrie and I will be your guide. So uh, if you joined me last time in episode 11, we uh, just met Detective Ricky Clark and he gave us a key to his place and a job for the night, or well, for the rest of our stay here ideally. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sleep on the couch. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, you tuned in last time, you, um, heard me talking about needing food and how fish, the fish that you can catch are really good for that. So, uh, let's see. Whoa. Okay, that feels like kind of a waste, but, uh, anyways, there you go. Um, if you're playing this game, you should, uh, try to fish every night while you're here before you sleep. And yeah, might as well write a page in my journal. Gotta get it down while it's all fresh in my mind. This looks like my bed for the night. Hop in, couch surfer. Alright. So, the detective's back and it looks like we're ready to start our first day of work. First, however, there are some other encounters that I would like to take care of. Supposing that it's not too late. Yeah, it's not too late. Okay, cool. I don't understand why this is even a big deal. You made changes to my passport. Why can't you process them for my driver's license too? As I've explained to you, the paperwork you filled out is completely different from the records required by the Transportation Bureau. The system won't let us issue a new one without the proper documentation. Just take the forms home, fill them out, and come back. Fine, whatever you say. This is so frustrating. Just, just give me a minute while I go find the proper forms. I can't believe this place. I'm sorry? Forms for this, documents for that, papers, papers, please. <laughs> I guess they like their red tape. There you go. That's the one you're looking for. Covers everything from address to name changes, including gender signifier. Only thing you can't change th with that one is your outstanding parking tickets. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so, there we go. What can I help you with today, faithful citizen? I was hoping you could give me some information on the election. I hear there's an election coming up, but I don't know much about it. Oh, well, the city's voting on a new mayor. Right now, the leading candidate is our current mayor and my boss, Bob Horde. Horde's the pillar of the community. Works a lot with the Beaton's Worker Union. He's done a pretty good job with the city, and most people seem pretty happy with him. There are, however, a growing number of people supporting a guy named Trudeau Liberté. He's one of the guys that started the worker strike and he's been pushing for change in this city. A few people have been rumoring that he's been connected to an anarchist organization, but it's mostly conjecture. When are people going to be voting? Oh, any day now, I think. You think? To be honest, I really couldn't care less about this stuff. I'm just a secretary here. Doesn't really matter to me who it's for. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, um, let's see, she has some other information for us, so might as well ask her. What can I help you with today, faithful citizen? I was hoping you could give me some more information. What's all this business about a strike ha happening in the city? On my way into town, I ran into some protesters complaining about the unions. Well, for a very long time, the Beaton Workers' Union has been in control of most of the business in town. Mostly labor, manufacturing, and construction jobs, but it's the bulk of Beaton's economy. The folks you saw are opposing the union's hold on Beaton and want to abolish the entire structure. What's their issue with the union? Over the years, the gap between the incomes of the union leaders and the workers has grown pretty wide. Their clubhouse is a rather extravagant affair, funded by the dues all the members have to pay. People don't like seeing other people getting rich, I guess. That can't be the whole truth, is it? 
Well, there's also this contract with Macroshaft Corporation that's pretty hotly contested. The union leaders insist it's for the people's best interest and will help create more jobs. However, some businesses are going to become wholly owned by the company, so people aren't happy about that. Huh. Well, who do you think's on the right side of this debate? Honestly, I couldn't care less. My job doesn't change regardless of what contracts pass or don't pass, so it's none of my concern. You don't say. That was very enlightening. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head back and talk to uh, Detective Ricky Clark and see what he has in store for us today. Glad you're finally awake, Ricky. What? What's going on? Big news. I think I finally cracked the case. Great. Congratulations. Not just yet. Come here and let me show you something. So, I've been taking a look at where Horde's money's been coming from, trying to get a clearer picture of who's funding the fat, fat joke. See who's really pulling the strings. Makes sense, I suppose. Well, it ought to, except for one big fat gaping hole. There's a couple hundred thousand dollars that's gone into his campaign fund that's completely unaccounted for by my records. Someone's funding him without making it publicly known? Why would a company do that if they weren't getting the publicity associated with it? Now you're thinking like a real pro, rookie. Whoever gave Horde that cash didn't make it publicly known for one of two reasons. Either it's illegal for them to be funding the mayor's campaign, or there's a real conspiracy going on that we're not supposed to know about. Alright, but what exactly do you plan to do with that information? Without proof of who's funding him or why, it's all just conjecture. You need more to go on if anyone's going to take you seriously. Exactly my thinking, Ricky. Which is why I got you one of these. Detective Ricky gave you a personal hacking device. What the heck is this? It's a personal hacking device. PhD for short. It's even been upgraded to make hacking super easy after a bunch of customers complained it was too difficult to use. We're going to break into City Hall and download the mayor's private files from the mainframe database with this baby. We're going to do what now? Look. The records were never made public, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a paper trail closer to the source. We find ourselves inside the mainframe room of the city hall, who knows what we'll find. Whatever it is, I've got a hunch it'll help pull the whole case together. Alright, but isn't that like super illegal? Oh, you bet it is, but then what's the point in moralizing when you're living under folks as corrupt as Horde? We're doing work that matters to the future of this city. We're going to save the people of this town from what they don't know. You only get so many opportunities to take care of your home in life. I'm not going to let this one pass me by. Alright, you've convinced me. Excellent. Take a minute to get familiar with that PhD. We're only going to get one shot at this and I can't afford you screwing up and getting us arrested. When you're ready to go, just come find me and we'll roll out. Right. Well, I suppose we'll uh, go ahead and try to use the PhD here. Alright, welcome to the Hacksaw Simulator 2000. Hack. Attempts allowed. Initiate hack. So, uh, this is actually a pretty simple minigame, and it's uh, more or less identical every time you do it. You just gotta get these little chips in the holes. Node connected. And you are good to go. And win, lose, or draw. This is gonna be my only attempt at this tutorial. Node connected. Node connected. Alright, so we're making some pretty good progress here. Node connected. And last but not least, these two. Nope, just this one over here. Okay, cool. Node connected. And that's it. That's how you do this little hacker thing. 
Alright, so we're going to close, we're going to talk to the detective and head out. Get the hang of that hacking device yet? I've poked around in it a little bit. I've got a pretty good idea of how to work it by now. Well, you're going to want to be sure you know what you're doing, because we only got one shot at this. You want to practice some more, or are you ready to go now? Hmm, do I need more practice with the hacking device? No, let's go. No, I should be fine. Let's get going. Alright, City Hall Courtyard. Alright, the coast is clear. Okay, you ready for the big show? We're only going to get one chance to do this right. We blow it, it could be a game over for good. Regardless of our intentions, the authorities aren't likely to look too kindly upon us if we're caught. We're facing down some serious jail time then. If we're busted, they'll have flying cars before we get out. I've accepted the risk a long time ago, but I don't have much else to worry about. That said, I gotta know you're willing to risk the same in order to keep this city safe from corruption. It's that serious, huh? Better not get caught? It's a necessary risk? The things I do for money. Sorry, I can't. Uh... Well then, we'd better not get caught. That's the attitude I'm looking for. Come on, let's quit wasting time. Alright, you see those security cameras over there? We're in a blind spot right now, but there's no way we're getting past this hedge without disabling them. You still got the PhD on you? Yeah, booting it up now. How are we gonna disable them from here? Watch this. That's a wireless relay for your device. Real handy little buggers. You should be able to access City Hall's mainframe from here with limited functionality. Load up the hack protocol and we can get started cracking those cameras. Once the cameras are disabled, we'll be able to move forward. We should be fine so long as nobody comes out those doors. But don't take too long. If you can't cut it, use the back door failsafe and I'll walk you through. You ready, kid? Let's do this. Initiate hack. So, as I mentioned before, it's literally the exact same layout every time. Node connected. Node connected. Node connected. Node connected. Alright, last node here. There we go. Node connected. Hack success. System bypass override initiate. It's that simple, huh? Don't get too cocky. This one was easy because it's an external system. Once you're in the mainframe, there's a chance you could trigger a system lockout. Do that and we'll have guards swarming all over the place and we'll both be thrown in the slammer. Those cameras should be down for a little while at least, but this is where we part ways. What? You're bailing on me? Settle down, nobody's going anywhere. You see that vent up there? It leads to the mainframe room, but an alarm will trigger unless one of us disables the motion detectors. Luckily, I swiped a spare guard uniform from the dry cleaners, but I'll leave the choice up to you. You want to crawl through the vents and be responsible for hacking the mainframe? Or would you rather risk exposure, impersonating a guard, and disable the security system? So, get caught impersonating a guard, or get caught hacking the mainframe. Lovely options, the both of them. I'll take the vents. Give me the uniform. Uh... I kind of feel like he would be better off getting the information since he would have a better idea of what he's looking for, but, uh... That kind of logic isn't gonna play in this, so I'll take the vents. Should be a cakewalk. Yeah, right. Alright, take these with you then. Ricky handed you 15 wireless spoofs. 
While you're finding your way through the vents, you may come across some cabling. Attach these to the ends where they feed down the various systems. Each one you plant should distract the system and give you an extra buffer if you happen to screw up once you reach the mainframe. Be careful of loose tiles in there, though. You retread on a cracked panel and you'll fall right through the roof. I don't need to tell you, that's a no-win scenario, right? Plant the wireless spoofs at the ends of the cables, watch out for bad tiles. Anything else? Yeah, don't look back. We'll meet up at my office once you're done, alright? Good luck. Good luck. Here goes nothing. <laughs> alright, so uh, this bit here is just a total blast. Don't look back. Yep, that's us climbing through the vents there. Um, as far as the 15 wireless spoof thingamajigs that we got, um, that give us extra chances at hacking the, the mainframe, we really don't need them. Uh, last time I was able to place like two of them, but these vents are really annoying to have to try and traverse without falling through something, so, uh, not only that, I didn't even need the extra two tries that uh, placing the spoofs afforded me the first time I did this. So it's really not a big deal unless you really suck at the hacking minigame thing, in which case you shouldn't even be doing this anyway. You should probably just let the detective or whoever you're helping uh, red if you are supporting red and the Union and Mayor Bob Hoard, or whoever the quote-unquote anarchist guy is. What is that? Well, this could potentially be really bad. Or not. So we placed one spoof, I'm guessing. I'm hoping that's what that was. I really hate this. I really do. This would suck so bad to be in that situation. I'm so nervous right now. Well, there's another wireless thingamajig, but I guess that's not really important because I don't even need the extra attempts. It's going to be exactly the same as it's always been. There's another one over there. Hopefully we'll find an exit soon. This is really nerve-wracking. I'm so afraid I'm going to get like stuck down a one-way tunnel and I won't be able to get back without getting in some serious trouble. The first time I did this, it really wasn't this big of a deal. I, I just somehow managed to get right to the place I needed to go. Apparently is not going to be my luck this time. Oh gosh. Please be an exit somewhere. Oh no. I should have just gone straight ahead. This was not worth it. Oh man. I think... No. Okay, maybe not. Maybe? I have no idea. Oh my gosh. This is really freaking... <sighs> Not really understanding why this is taking so long. And why they don't have 
some kind of indicator of which way you're meant to be going here. And of course you can't sprint, so you're just kind of stuck going along. I was actually very tempted to end the video before we got in here, but I wasn't sure how long... I forgot to set my timer, so I wasn't sure how long I'd already been doing this. Hopefully I will find a direction that I haven't taken at some point. And, uh, we'll get out of here soon. I really need a video editor that can speed up video footage for you guys for things like this. Let's go back here, because I think I've been stuck in this endless loop in that area for a while now. Oh gosh, okay. Well, we found a new cracked panel, so hopefully that means progress. And yet another new cracked panel. <sighs> well, there's that. Not that I even needed it. I really just want out of here, game. Can't you just get me to the end already? <laughs> Alright, so apparently we have been here or hereabouts before. I am assuming that if you've cracked enough of the panels, they will eventually leave you with only one way to go and that will eventually lead you to the exit of this horrible 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 place <sighs> all right uh oh okay good This is really frustrating. It's almost as bad as moving 150 boxes only to find out that you didn't even have to move more than a couple and you could have just left. Free 150 bucks. Okay, hopefully we're on the right track. We've cracked a number of new panels and uh, there seem to be a lot less intersections. This is more of a one-way thing, so hopefully this this is, uh, you know, the, we're getting ready to cook with fire here. Hopefully. Yep. Alright, cool. This looks like the exit. Finally. Good thing I managed to plant seven of these wireless spoops. Time to hit that mainframe. No, yeah, but we actually don't need seven of those wireless spoofs. My back. Ricky never mentioned how cramped that vent would be. Looks like this is the place, though. Now all I've got to do is hack the system, download the source files, and we're good to go. Oddly enough, when I came here for Mayor Bob Horde, there was already someone here, which was kind of odd. Alright, let's see what secrets you've got, Mr. Mainbrain. Initiate hack. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, and last and least. Five. Node connected. 
Hack success. System bypass override initiate. Shit, I did it. Alright, now let's find those comprehensive candidate profiles. Yes, let's do please. Got you, Mr. Horde. Alright, Robert Horde. Age 45 years. Height 5 foot 10 inches. Weight 322 pounds. Appearance sweaty. Campaign contributors. Macroshaft Corporation. Beaten Workers Union. Bacon Barn Foods Limited. Beaten Police Department. And City Hall Campaign Fund. Huh, looks like Ricky was right. Not only was Bob Horde's campaign funded by Macroshaft, but he's been on their payroll for almost a decade. Man, people are going to be shocked when they find out. Better copy this to my PhD and show Ricky. Downloading, please wait. That'll come in handy later for sure. Okay, time to take a look at the competition then. Ah, here you are, Mr. Liberté. Trudeau Liberté. Age 33 years, height 5 foot 9 inches, weight 168 pounds. Campaign contributors, Macroshaft Corporation, Big Buzz Soda Company, Sunny Megaplex Theaters, PH Entertainment, and Picket Signs Incorporated. Hey, what's this? Trudeau's been on Macroshaft's payroll this whole time too, but he's running against Horde. That doesn't make any sense. Ricky's going to want a copy of this for sure. Alright, downloading, please wait. Just how many of these candidates have been bought by Macroshaft? Christopher Floyd, age, question mark, question mark, height, question, question mark, question mark, blah, blah, no file found. The profile is completely blank. No address, no employment history, not even a phone number on record. Eric Chan, Kipa Awe, Ryan Burrell, so apparently there are a number of them. None of these candidates even exist. There really are only two choices. Ricky figured it all out, but now they'll have to believe him. Alright, so I guess we got what we needed. I've got all the info I need, yep. Okay. So let's get out of here and back to the, uh... Shit, someone's coming. Uh, what? Jem? Ricky? No, it's me, Donovan. Donovan? What the hell are you doing here? I was breaking in to hack the voting machines. Gotta make sure that anarchist lunatic Trudeau doesn't get elected. He'll pull the whole town into total chaos, and I'm going to save it. You're going to tamper with the machines? You're not here to stop me, are you? No, I'm working with a detective. We're here investigating your so-called candidates. You're not going to believe the shit we've just uncovered. Bob Ward and Trudeau are being funded by Macroshaft. They're both working for the same people. There's something fishy going on, and we're trying to figure it out. I never took you for much of a conspiracy theorist, Jem. Don't tell me you're taking that stuff seriously. You still think you have a choice, don't you? That somehow by doing this you can change something? You've got to understand, it won't accomplish anything. I've got the evidence right here. They're all paid off. Horde and Trudeau are just puppets to the money. Regardless of who's chosen, Geppetto still wins. What are you saying? I'm saying that left or right, it doesn't matter. Not when you're choosing which hand slaps you in the face. As noble as you think you are, it doesn't mean anything. Then what's the alternative? If you're so enlightened, tell me. What do you think I... What do I think you should do? Look out for yourself. Look out for others. Look out for truth. Look out for freedom. Look out for truth. Find it and protect it in any way you can. Do whatever it takes to ensure that lies never manage this world we live in. Of course, responsibility is only what you make of it. So you're not here to stop me then? Because if you are, I'll blow both our cover right now. 
Maybe if we ask nicely, they'll let us split a jail cell. No, it doesn't matter anyway. The terminal's right over there. Do whatever you have to do. Alright, I'll see you around, I guess. Right. <sighs> well, that's a little frustrating. I was hoping to uh, escape the corruptions. Looks like I can get back out through the vents. But, um... Not really sure this is the first disguise I would try. Door's still jammed. I could probably escape through the vents. Okay. Without getting... Falling through the... Mm. Alright, um... If getting out through the vents is going to take a while, I'm just going to say this now. We're going to end it here. Um, hopefully I'll see you next time for part 13, and I hope that you have enjoyed this Let's Play of Always Sometimes Monsters. I'm going to go ahead and try to get back out through these vents. Uh, if you want to hang with me and it doesn't take too long, then I will uh, end the video at the exit. And if it takes a long time, then we'll pick up outside the vents next time. Thank you so much for watching. Oh gosh. Oh. Holy crap, she fell through the roof. I bet she's the mainframe hacker. No need to do anything drastic now. Kill her. Kill? What's your first instinct? Kill? That was definitely not the easy way out. <laughs> okay. So we dive through a window and nobody chases us. As expected. Even though the town is crawling with cops, they don't even realize that there's a crime. You kind of look familiar. Have I seen you before? No. No, you haven't. No. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead and do my fishing. And we're really going to end the video here. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of uh, Always Sometimes Monsters. <laughs>